What is up, everybody? Shermanator Gaming here. Back with some more MLB The Show 17. Another Diamond Dynasty game for you guys. And you might not recognize some of the players that I'm using compared to my last couple of videos. In the last, like, two weeks, I've just been grinding non-stop. And pretty much every player on my team is different. Except for a couple that are still in from last time. But anyway, this was a pretty exciting game. And this game was my Aaron Sanchez versus his Kevin Gausman. Top of the second inning, Holiday's leading it off. No hits for either team so far in the game. So Holiday decides to break that. He rips one right up the middle for a single. And then following Holiday, Sano gets up. He hits a weak little pop out. But then Sanchez on the one two pitch. Guy leaves a slider over the plate, and Sanchez absolutely destroys it. The only silver player still on my team gets the job done. So into the fourth inning, Sano is leading it off, and he hits a little single into left field. Not hit too well, but enough to get the hit. After Crawford reaches on an error, we have first and second, one out, and Carpenter ends up getting a single, and I send Sano home, not realizing how ridiculously slow he is, and he ends up getting thrown out. So now, no runs yet, second and third, two outs with the pitcher at the plate, but the pitcher gets a hit, he hits one up the middle for a single, and that scores the run. Pretty impressive for a pitcher, especially one that's not supposed to be good at hitting. And then Granderson, leadoff man, gets up next, and he adds a single of his own, another RBI single, and now we're up 4 nothing. Now it took this guy all the way into the fourth inning to even get a hit off of me, and after stealing a base... He ends up popping this one up in the infield, and I don't even know what this guy was thinking. He's just running back and forth, and I end up doubling him up. Don't know what he was thinking there. And in the fifth inning, Reggie Jackson leading it off. He ends up starting with a single in the hole. Not a bad piece of hitting right there. But then he almost gets himself tagged out, rounding the base. I don't know why he would do that. And Sanchez gets up, and he rips one down the line. And that's going to be enough to get Jackson to score. But again, I don't realize how slow these guys are. And Sanchez ends up getting thrown out trying to get a double. So this guy's team really isn't that good. But he does actually end up having Freddie Freeman as his first baseman. An excellent diamond card. I wish I had him. And a mislocation by Sanchez. Still not really a bad pitch, but the guy just got all of it. And that ends up getting him on the board. And I'm, I'm getting nervous because Sanchez really isn't looking that good after that one. But he is able to buckle down, getting the only strikeout of the game he gets right here. And keeps the lead for us. And again, in the seventh inning, Freddie Freeman, I mean, this one, he just throws right down the middle. I don't know how you could miss a location that bad, but that's Freeman's second home run of the game. But, you know, Gary Sanchez gets up and decides to get a little payback. And on a first pitch fastball, absolutely crushes it. 456 feet to left center. Sanchez, just amazing. I love him as my catcher. I have a gold catcher, and I don't even use him. And Sanchez ends up finishing out the game on his own, throwing all nine innings, getting the final out here pop-up in foul territory. Jackson makes the catch, and that is the game. A 6-2 to two win. Gary Sanchez coming up huge for my team. If you don't have him, buy him. This guy can hit. And he's not a bad fielder either. He's got a very strong arm behind the plate. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.